Displaced Voices is a project by the Orchestra of St. John's with, um, with an intent to amplify the voices of young people in our community, and particularly those young people who have come, from, come to us from exceptional places and often from very far away, different places, um, and come through exceptional circumstances. And what we've been able to do is to work with a really special school in Oxfordshire called the Oxford Spires Academy, which has an award-winning poetry program, which has been turning out prize-winning poets. It's been absolutely extraordinary. So this initiative, led by Kate Clanchy, has built up an entire kind of troop of extraordinarily well-versed uh, young people, um, and it has published a book. Uh, Kate put together an anthology of the students' poems called England, Poems from a School which is really an inspiration for us as an orchestra to say, how can we use orchestral music to bring these voices to more and more people because it's just such beautiful words. So in the first half of the program, you heard three pieces from the book that were set by composers for, um, for Charlie Tetley and the orchestra. Um, and in the second half, you are going to hear four pieces um, spoken by the po poets who wrote the pieces, um, and to what I call kind of orchestral backing tracks, um, which they have worked together with composer Toby Young to put behind their words. So we, Toby and I spent um, several, well, several weeks um, with the students at the Oxford Spires Academy uh, to help construct the backing tracks that you're going to hear this evening. Dad, I don't know how I imagine your face, hair, and eyes. I know I have never seen you, but my mom described you me. I still can't imagine your shape, but I can smell your scent by hearing by your looks. Your eyes, the color of the forest, shining like a star. Your kindness above everything I ever thought someone could have. I wish I knew how you felt when you were on this earth, but I was too late. But how can I smell your scent in the air? Maybe you were too important on this earth to forget. How can I never see you when your smell is just above me? Like a person never leaving a body. Last year's dreams. Last year, I wore the long blue burqa, viewed the world from behind the bars of my veil. This year, I see the world through my eyelids, a free bird in the sky. Last year, I was swallowed by a basement. The world revolved around me. This year, I am freed into a radical world. Last year, I witnessed a bomb explode on our window screen, and the shower of blood, stone, and earth rubbed away with the wipers like any rain. This year, the fresh green grass shines through the window as I listen to the rhythm of the rain. When will the nightmares of last year change into the sweet dreams of this year?
England. It's called the English land. The land of lying weather. The land of natural freezer. With the sun smiling for seconds. The, the land that welcomes all and locks all in at winter. Spit at us and dry us up. Let us out and send us back. Nigerians would say, E too cold. Spanish would say, No, no, que frío. Asians would say, Wallahi, it's freezing. English would say, It's chilly. It's called England. My country is bleeding. My country is wounded. I came from the East Gate, from a country full of history. I came from Jasmine country and become a dead person. I came from a finished childhood and lost my child face. A childhood lost moving from city to city to find safety. A childhood lost moving from country to country to find safety. A childhood lost moving between countries, Arab and Europe, between old customs and new languages. I lived in a country that was not my country. Eid comes and they celebrate. I rejoice in their Eid. I smile, but I do not feel the taste of their feast. When my grandmother cooked at Eid, everyone ate, and we were watering roses and smelling the smell of furs with the flowers. I remember little, little scraps of memories. I came from a country where something came to change stars and meteors into Eastern objects that hurt people. I came from a country where something came to change the sounds of birds and music to Western voices. I came from a country where the children have died, where the stones have died, where the old men and the trees have died, where even the archaeology is lost. I came from a country where a child is waiting for his father to return with tears full of hunger and oppression. And a girl is waiting for her fiance's return with tears salty enough to kill the trees, where a wife waits for her missing husband to return, with tears strong enough to dissolve a stone, where a mother died of grief over the loss of her martyred son, where the mother waits for her son to return with tears will not dry. And how sad my heart is seeing all the people cry. I come from a country which poverty, hunger, and murder arose to banish. I wish I could have the childhood, my family and my parents inherited, their customs, games and memories, all in the same street, where the same games are repeated. I wish I could recount my childhood as my parents recount theirs. I am sorry to call my childhood premature aging.